Hello everyone, and welcome to another Company of Heroes 2 replay cast. My name is ATR, and today we're going to have a 1v1 on Simwaski. Our heroes today are going to be experts Von Ivan, playing for the Germans. And we have Condemnation Wings, playing for the Soviets of the Red Army. Two very good players. I will not go much into detail to their accomplishments, because, well, I'm not that savvy, but... They are very well-known players and very good in their own respect. So, interesting match. Brand new in the patch. So, I'm not sure if we're going to see any new units going around. But, well, it is with all the new stats. So, it'll be interesting to see how it works out. So, anyways, as far as production goes, Von Ivan got himself his Tier 1. And getting from Tier 1 is Grenadier Squad. And you can actually see that... Von Ivan has decided to get himself his uh, commander right off the bat. It's a little bit interesting that you can get it. Huh. Was that a change in the recent patch? I mean, I know that there were some commanders, uh, like the uh, one with the Assault Grenadiers that got introduced, that allowed you to, you know, get that instantly because the Grenadiers cost zero. But this one has 11355. Five. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, it looks like Condemnation Wings also has the ability to select his, his commander now, so maybe that was a change and I didn't actually notice it, but oh well. Anyway, so we do see that uh, Von Ivan got himself his commander, got himself a Grenadier squad that is currently capturing that territory, and also got himself an MG42 that is hitting the field right now. For Condemnation Wings, we see no tech, like you would usually expect, getting himself instead some Conscript Squads. Interestingly enough, though, he is going for a two Conscript Squad opening, and then uh, getting a second Combat Engineer. One can only assume, or I can only assume right now, that he is going to be getting himself some type of tech with that second Greenwich Engineer. So anyways, we have an engagement down south. We have Pioneers engaging uh, Combat Engineers from Condemnation Wings. Down here is the fuel point on the right. Pioneers trying to capture this cutoff point, but the combat engineers do jump out of the point and start engaging. Combat engineers a little bit uh, worse off in this engagement. They have taken more damage. And taking a quick look from this fight up north, uh, yeah, we do see that Condemnation Wings is getting himself his tier one. Very nice. In the center, we do hear another engagement. We have conscripts and grenadiers engaging. And also up in the north, in the other fuel point, we have the MG42 engaging a conscript squad, which was forced off of the field, but not before they managed to get the cap on the fuel. So currently, Condemnation Wing has the advantage on the fuel front. He has both fuels connected. The MG42 is currently decapping that one, but it's going to be a little while. Down at the south, we still have these pioneers and combat engineers engaging. They are down to two men each. And pioneers go down to one man, so it looks like the pioneers are going to lose this fight. And there they go. They are going to retreat. So Von Ivan is... Is it actually going to make it out alive? It is taking some damage, but this, it is only two combat engineers left, so they shouldn't be able to do that much damage. So there it goes. So a little bit of a victory in the south for um, Condemnation Winked. We now see the Grenadier Squad moving over to capture the fuel point. It is going to get decapped, and these combat engineers can't really do much about it. They are going to move around or off, that is, to the right-hand side, probably try to cap those points before they have to run off of the field. We now see a, uh, a little bit of a big push uh, by Condemnation Wings, Conscripts and Flamethrower equipped engineers going to the center. They are going to engage these um, Grenadiers. Uh, grenadiers are backing off. Conscripts do jump into the house and jump back out once they notice the uh, Grenadiers are running away. Grenadiers are probably going to jump into the house. And there is a second Grenadier squad that is going to be in the area to support. Up in the north, we see the MG42 still set up at the fuel point. Going to catch that conscript squad in a very instant retreat by Condemnation Wings. Very nice reaction time there. Not allowing any unnecessary damage to go down. Because if we take a quick look at his base, he still doesn't have medics. LMG42 getting equipped on a Grenadier squad. That's going to provide the firepower he needs for this engagement. There is an M3 scout car for Condemnation Wings on the field now. Getting that flamethrower engineer on them. So these uh, Grenadiers are going to be harassed for a little bit. But considering they are Grenadiers, they can easily Faust that half-track. So, I uh, mean, scout car. So, Condemnation Wings actually doing the correct thing and is actually going to go harass other units. But this is also a Grenadier squad, so it has the ability to Faust. Flamethrower goes off, but since it is only one Grenadier squad, even the Faust isn't going to finish it off. Flamethrower doing some nice damage. Faust connects, does a lot of damage to the scout car. But with the support of these engineers on the right-hand side, scout car should be relatively fine. 
Down to two men. Down to one man. Is he actually going to make it out alive? Last barrage goes in by the car. He does get green cover on the retreat. And Grenadier Squad makes it alive. So very nice move there by Condemnation Wings. He is now going to use both Engineer Squads to repair, probably. Yeah, there he goes. So that's Cop going to be back on the field in a short time. In the center, we still see these Grenadiers engaging with the Conscripts in the house. Conscripts are at six men. And we see that something was forced off. One of Another Conscript Squad that is at three men. So we now have... Wow, five Grenadier squads for Von Ivan and one MG. MG is still set up in that fuel point, denying it for Condemnation Wings. Up in the north, Grenadiers just capturing, and in the center we still have those Grenadiers engaging the Conscript squad. Without a rifle nade going in there, that Conscript squad is going to be able to stay there for a long while. We do hear uh, Grenadier squad getting burned alive by this uh, flamethrower combat engineers. Down to one man, and this is the squad with the LMG-42. He is going to try to run away and do some damage at range, but he's in a very bad spot. He needs to be able to run away, but no. Hits retreat, trying to do a last-ditch effort to stay alive, but gets burned alive instantly by that Grenadier Squad. And I missed that whole engagement, but it looks like that Grenadier Squad actually did some nasty damage to the scout car and almost took it down, but fortunately for Condemnation Wings, the scout car was simply uh, decrewed and is now back on the field. But we now have another Grenadier Squad coming up for Bon Ivan, and he's probably going to throw a Faust on that scout car once again and finish it off. And that, wow, bit of, big, of, big loss here for Condemnation Wings. He lost another uh, squad, the um, flamethrower equipped uh, engineers, and it actually dropped the flamethrower, which these uh, grenadiers could pick up. And there we go. Scout car goes down, finally explodes. Nice victory there for Von Ivan, and it's looking very rough for Condemnation Wings. Condemnation Wings has selected his Doctrine and called himself a Shock Troop onto the field. Shock Troop is going to the left-hand side, but there's still that MG-42, so it's not going to be able to do much. It's going to get pretty much pinned instantly. There is a Conscript Squad nearby to uh, flank, so I'm assuming that's what he's trying to go for. And there we go. The Shock Troops do take nasty damage on the approach. One of them goes down almost instantly. They do take some cover in the bushes, getting some light cover. But the other Conscript Squad gets on top of the MG-42, forcing a retreat for Von Ivan. So very nice move there by Condemnation Wings. Very nice flank. Up front in the cutoff point for Von Ivan, we see a Conscript Squad that had uh, disconnected that entire territory. But the point is back in the possession for Von Ivan, so he is in a very uh, solid position right now, especially infantry-wise. He has a commanding lead as far as infantry on the on the field. Five, five combat troops plus an MG-42 against pretty much only two combat troops. I mean, yeah, there's a uh, engineer with a flamethrower somewhere. Here it is. But it's, you know, it's a little bit more frail than other units. Grenadier's uh, quad getting forced off. It did actually pick up that flamethrower, so that's going to be an interesting squad to keep an eye on. Up in the north, shock troops getting rifle naded. They retort with their own grenade onto a Grenadier squad. Very nice damage. Three men go down instantly, and that Grenadier squad is down to one man. But the cons uh, shock troops are forced off by the other Grenadier squad. So lucky on both sides. Heavy damage on both. Grenadier Squad still here, taking cover by that well, doing some damage on these conscripts in the house, but they are not going to be able to force them off unless you can get a flamethrower on there. And do we have any additional tech? Yeah, we do see that Condemnation Wings is going for Tier 4. Potentially getting himself either an SU-85 if he's going, you know, for a more uh, secure route. But an SU-76 could actually be quite nice. He doesn't have the fuel for an SU-85 anyway, so we'll see what he decides to go with. Grenadier squad getting forced off of the field down to what man? Very lucky squad. Uh, conscripts were at five men and could have very easily taken it down. There's still the conscripts in the house. Are they actually going to focus fire that grenadier? It looks like they are not going to focus fire, so very lucky squad still. Oh, well, they actually ran out of the house. That's why they didn't focus fire. Okay, well, there they go. Down to three men. They are going to make it out alive. Grenadier squad capturing the fuel point, so pretty much split almost even. We do have the fuel point up in the north now in the possession of Condemnation Wings, and he has a conscript squad in this house to defend the position. This angle isn't the most favorable for the house because there is only one uh, window there, but this angle over here is a little bit better. You know, you see four windows over there to shoot from. In the center, we see the shock troops going on force against the Grenadier squad. Supported by the MG-42, but the MG-42 is backing off. It is going to set up in the victory point, trying to catch those shock troops. The Grenadier does take a lot of damage down to two men. MG-42 gets naded, killing the gunner instantly, and down to one man. That MG-42 is going to get cleared out. There it goes. 
and we'll see if Condemnation Wings decides to use his Shock Troops or bring up something else to get that MG42. He is currently just guarding the area with the Shock Troops, but they are not decapping the point. They do, well, they did decap the point, but they're not staying to cap. He is sending uh, the Shock Troops over to the north to support his uh, combat engineers that are getting aggressed by the Grenadiers with the Flamethrower. Flamethrower indecisive to, as to what to shoot. And there he goes, starts doing some damage on those Grenadiers, but the Shock Troops are now on top of them. Nate goes off, does some nice damage and gets one kill. Flamethrower opening up on the Shock Troops and doing some nice damage, burning one instantly. But the Grenadiers are very low in health, down to two men. The Flamethrower looks like it burst, did it? Yeah, it looks like they don't actually have the icon anymore. He still has it on his back, but, well, looks like he lost it. Anyways, in the center we do hear a... Ooh, okay, so Von Ivan actually manages to recapture his MG42 uh, with a Grenadier squad. So, yeah, I mean, uh, Condemnation Wings decided that it was more important to go to the north with the shock troops and force off that, uh, that other squad. And, yeah, it looks like the squad lost its flamethrower. Oh, well, quite a... Quite a sad thing to see, but, well, he used it for a while and did some nice damage. And yeah, SU-76 hitting the field for Condemnation Wicks, that's not a bad choice. It has that barrage ability, which is going to be very helpful against all that infantry. And, I mean, its main gun isn't the, the best against infantry, but, you know, even like an SU-85, it'll get some kills eventually and could also be used simply to take down some uh, buildings. Engagement at the cutoff point for Von Ivan. Shock troops going forth, but they are getting engaged by sh uh, by Grenadiers and Pioneers being forced off of the field. Nice attempt to cut off the uh, the income, but uh, uh, didn't pan out. MG42 getting barraged by that SU-76. Uh, retreats at one man. Very lucky. Uh, says hello to the shock troops as they run by. None of them stopping to shoot each other. Down south, we hear an LMG-42 equipped Grenadier squad engaging a Conscript squad. Conscript squad jumping into the house. Uh, down to five men. I'm assuming a rifle aid goes in. Yeah, rifle aid goes into the house, but doesn't actually manage to do anything. Quite uh, quite annoying when that happens to you, I suppose. Second Grenadier squad moving down south to the fuel point to support this other Grenadier squad. Grenadier squad down to two men. Uh, having a little bit of a tough time against this these Conscripts. Another rifle aid goes in. Does some nice damage there. Down to four men. SU-76 moves into position, he's going to take some shots at these Grenadiers, but as you can see, it's not the best against infantry. Doesn't actually do anything. Second shot moves in and misses. Conscript Squad down to one man is in a very tough spot. The LMG-42 is going to open up on it on the retreat. Can he actually get the kill? SU-76 manages to... No. SU-76 shots manage to stun them, you know, make them move around and stop shooting, but manages to get one last burst and kills that entire Conscript Squad on the retreat. So nice pickup there for uh, Von Ivan, and uh, again, it's looking very uh, grim for Condemnation Wings. He does have his SU-76, but he's very sickly down to one Shock Troop, one Conscript, and two Combat Engineers. As opposed to an MG-42 and five Grenadiers for Von Ivan, so it's very, it's going very, uh, very good this way. In the center, we see a uh, Vet 2 squads engaging. That is a Combat Engineer with um, Flamethrower against a vanilla or uh, unupgraded Grenadier squad. SU-76 trying to support the uh, the combat engineers, but not really doing much. There we go. Finally, one shot goes in and gets a nice kill. No. Actually, it looks like it got a kill on the combat engineers. Is that a friendly kill? No. Okay, well, it wasn't a friendly kill, but it almost looked like it. So Von Ivan calling himself in a Panzer IV. The Panzer IV should be able to deal with the SU-76 on its own very easily. Up north, we hear an engagement. Shock troops engaging a Vet 2 uh, Grenadier squad with an LMG-42, but it does force it off. A second Grenadier squad moves into the area to try to engage those shock troops, but they are down to three men themselves. Nice rifle nade goes in right on top of the shock troops. Does some very good damage to the health and actually kills one man. Grenadiers doing some nice damage at range. Uh, shock troops are in heavy cover, though, so they are going to be able to capture the fuel point uh, before anything gets there. Panzer IV hitting the field and is, well, hitting it in force. Let's see exactly how it does. Going into the center, the shock troops can't really do much about it. Wow, very nice shot by the Panzer IV. Does four infantry kills in one shot. Most cost-effective shot I've seen today. Wow. So those shock troops get forced off of the field, and the SU-76 you can see retreating in the background. He knows he has no shot against that Panzer IV on its own, and is going to have to back off. Second Panzer IV being called in by Von Ivan. It's going to be about half-produced. 
So it is gonna be very tough for Condemnation Wings to uh, pull out of this. MG42 does get cleared out by the Shock Troops, but they are also forced off by that Panzer IV. Down to four men, they should be fine. Maybe one more will go down to that Panzer IV, but not the entire squad. MG42 does get left out in the field, but Panzer IV is there to protect it, so it should be fine. SG76 moves into the field a little bit more to support. Not a bad uh, thing to do. I mean, just because it can't actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe against the Panzer IV doesn't mean you have to retreat it all the way to your base and, you know, leave it useless, you know. You can also use it as a bait against that tank, but, well, there isn't currently anything for Condemnation Wings to bait it into. He doesn't have any other modes of AT, aside from potentially launching a, um, AT nade with those conscripts, but that's pretty much it. And we now have that second Panzer IV hitting the field. With both Panzer IVs, I'm pretty sure Von Ivan can simply do a armored push into the center and push all the way back into the enemy base at this point. And there he goes, the uh, Panzer IV going up against the conscripts. Conscripts are moving in to potentially throw an 18-8. Nice shot goes in by the Panzer IV, gets two infantry killed. Another shot is going to chase those guys. Doesn't actually manage to do anything, but they are forced off of the field. We also see the other Panzer IV over here. Engaging again, another Shock Troop squad. Shock Troop takes a nice shot, but actually dodges it. Panzer IV is going to open up again. They are retreating. Doesn't manage to do anything. But, well, essentially now has the entire north uh, pinned for uh, Condemnation Wings. So I can't really, I don't really know what he can do in this situation. I mean, he doesn't have guards to provide any other type of soft counter. He would need to get himself tech tier 2 to get AT guns, but he doesn't have that yet. It's looking tough. I mean, I'm thinking he's probably just holding off to try to get that up. Uh, Nice mine, but the Panzer IV actually goes uh, around it, luckily for the Panzer IV. Combat engineers do get forced off of the house by that Panzer IV, and the Grenadiers are just going to simply move back and capture that point. Panzer IV keeps on moving, chasing off those combat engineers. So the SU-76 is being used on the left-hand side, or the north, that is, to try to engage that Panzer IV, but it isn't the best against it. As you can see, it's bouncing off the frontal armor. Combat engineers are going a little bit forward, just getting that vision range. The conscripts are moving up, trying to get an 18 8 Are they actually going to be able to get it? They do get that 18 8 it looks like. And the uh, Panzer IV is now in a little bit of trouble. Does get damaged engine, but the SC-76 can't take it on head-on. I mean, can't take it head-on. You can see one damage from the Panzer IV took it to almost about half health. Nice barrage there by Condemnation Wings. Gets two kills on those Grenadiers. Second barrage shot goes in, doesn't actually manage to get the kill, and the uh, SU-76 is forced off, but the Panzer IV is now in range. It's going to take a shot against that tank, and is going to kill it in one more shot. Nice attempt there by Condemnation Wings, but unfortunately the SU-76 isn't the best against the Panzer IV. Conscripts do get forced off of the field, and Condemnation Wings throw in, throws in the towel. He doesn't have anything else to respond. He was still a little bit away from that um, SU-85, which could have you know, helped him out. Um, but yeah, it was a very nice attempt there with the 18 8 and the SC-76. You can see that it did a good amount of damage to that Panzer IV, but you have to, you know, keep on kiting it. Oh well. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the game. If you have any positive or negative remarks, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you have any replays you want to send me, go ahead and send them to the email that I will put in the description below. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.